Can Fox News do more to discourage sexual harassment in the workplace? You know, there's been a lot of allegations at Fox News lately about uh, sexual harassment all the way from the top on down. And um, today I wrote a post on Facebook kind of talking about this. I said it's been reported that Fox News is letting O'Reilly go for alleged sexual harassment. There is no excuse for that kind of behavior, but I'm sure working in an environment with scantily dressed females every day doesn't help contain the impulses. Perhaps a little bit of modesty at Fox would improve the work environment some. And um, I got a lot of positive responses to that post, but I did get some people that I think kind of misread it. They thought I was excusing um, or making uh, or justifying sexual harassment. And so I had to do a follow-up uh, post about that um, just to clarify. I said, I, I, just want to clarif I just want to add clarification to my last post. By no means would I ever excuse or justify sexual harassment. God's law prohibits men from treating women like sex objects and encourages them to value and respect a woman's dignity. Godly men will do so regardless of the way a woman dresses. Look at how, uh, look at how Jesus treated women. However, in general, I think it, is, it would be uh, helpful to our culture if women respected themselves by showing a little modesty in their attire, including uh, Fox News. And, and I do think Fox News could do a lot better. I mean, it, it's getting to the point where it's almost the topless news uh, agency. Why not just report the facts and let the people assimilate those facts rather than trying to catch people by their base animal instincts? Um, you know, and the Bible does, there's, there's some verses I think we will cover here in a moment, but the Bible does uh, very much disapprove of crude talking, of sexual harassment of women, but at the same time, it encourages women to respect themselves by dressing modestly. And um, you know it, you've seen it, many of you have seen, you know, Fox News... Um, their audience is uh, generally, or the majority of their audience, um, consists of um, conservative Christians. So conservative Christians should speak out and say to Fox News, hey, we don't need to see skin. You know, uh, for every, we, don't, that, we don't need to be appealed to by that. Just give us the truth. Show us classy um, women and men that will deliver the truth and not try to appeal to our base instinct and uh, we'd be much better off. But I do want to go over some scriptures uh, real quick that I think really apply to this situation. Um, we'll go to, um, here it is. I did a, I did a Google search on uh, verses about sexual harassment and this is what I, this is what I found and they're all pretty good. Uh, Ephesians chapter 5 verse 4 says, Let there be no filthiness, nor, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Now, I don't know all the facts with Bill O'Reilly, but if it is true, and he is uh, talking crudely, then, uh, you know, I would say, I mean, I, would, uh, I wouldn't want somebody working for my organization that would be doing that. Is Fox News conveniently picking a time to get rid of O'Reilly? Well, O'Reilly's kind of in the center. He's not a real staunch conservative. So that, that I, you know, I do question that some. But uh, no doubt the enemy does get dirt on people. It's written about in their protocols. And they wait for a time to blackmail or punish those who oppose them by saying, hey, well, look at what this guy did. And they can hold it over people's heads for years and years. Is that the case with Bill O'Reilly? I have no idea. Um, should we excuse Bill O'Reilly's behavior 
if if it's true now, these are allegations. I don't think, I mean, he has settled out of court uh, here lately, uh, paid various women like $15 million. So that seems like a, an admit, a, you know, an admittance of guilt. But uh, I'm not going to stand here and sit here and judge. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't look good for him. I, I will say that. Um, so let's go to some other scriptures here real quick. Ephesians chapter 5 verse 3 says, But sexual immorality and impurity or covetousness must not be even be named among you, as is proper among saints. Um, 1 Corinthians 7 1 says, Now concerning the matters about which you wrote, it is good for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman. That That's another topic, actually. Um uh, that's a whole different situation. I don't know how that verse ended up in there. But um, then there was uh, the time when uh, in Genesis chapter 34, verse 2, when um, the, uh, the the Israelites, um, their sister was raped and they uh, took vengeance upon the rapist. Um, she was assaulted, but that's a little different category. That's assault. First Timothy 2, verse 9 says, now here's, Here's the other here's the flip side flip side of this. Likewise also that women should adorn themselves in respectable apparel with modesty and self-control not with braided hair and gold and pearls and costly attire. Um um we could go into the go into the uh in-depth meaning on that. Um but I will just simply say Modesty in all things for Christians. I mean, you don't want to, I'm not saying we have to wear burqas or, you know, women ought to cover themselves up completely um, or something like that. I mean, uh, someone, a, a nice person stated that, you know, they thought maybe it was a slippery slope. They commented on my Facebook post there and said, Pastor Ben, you know, this might be a slippery slope down to, you know, making women cover up everything. And, and, and that, Modesty doesn't mean that. That's that's rigid. That's extremism. Um, but I think we're more in danger at this point of having topless news service rather than uh, burkas. Well, I guess uh, I guess that's not completely true either. With, with the uh, spread of Islam, it seems like it seems like if they tell women to dress modestly, liberals think it's okay. It's great. But if a Christian conservative says, "Hey, you know, maybe women should," you know. Uh, dress with respect and dignity, uh, then then we're somehow stuck in the nineteen uh, the the early nineteen hundreds or something, and we're way out of you know way out of um, step with society today. You know, um, so yeah, men should treat men should value women. Men should treat them with dignity, and not you know talk crude behind their backs and. And, uh, you know, sexual jokes and things like that. And women should respect themselves by not provoking men. That was my point in, in the post. And um, I just, you know, also wanted to clarify for someone who might have misread that. I, I would never excuse crude gestures, filthy talk, uh, and so forth. And, and again, if Bill O'Reilly's guilty of that, then he should be let go. Um, but you know, the left seems to, uh, you know, you turn on CNN and they're salivating over this, but, but think of all of the immorality that the left pushes. So they, they have no right to stand in judgment of anybody. And, you know, they've got 10 fingers pointing back at them, but as Christians and many, and for many Christians that watch that network, I think we, do, we should ask for better. I think we should ask that they, that they, um, you know, improve their dress code a little bit there, and not play on our base instincts. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that quick update. Um, tomorrow we are going to do a live discussion. Many of you might be seeing this on Thursday, but uh, on Thursday night at 7:30 p.m. Central Time, we're going to do a very fun discussion, a very important discussion, on literal versus spiritual interpretations of the Bible. And can we go too far either way and blind ourselves to the truth? 
that's kind of the question uh, the question we're going to ask as we search the scriptures uh, for the, for the answers. Anyways, God bless you. Hope you enjoy this. We'll see you next time.